Welcome back. Here we are once again in our little world of two dimensional platforming. And we have a little fellow, of course, and last time we made the door open up and we made a new level. So it goes to a new level. Now, well, there's a lot of things that we need to do. And we'll do those things eventually. But first, what I want to do is add a little bit of game juice. And that is I want to generate a particle system. So that's what we're going to work on today to uh, create some dust at our little character's feet whenever he lands. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and do it. This is going to this is going to be so much fun. I've already created a little particle and I'll show you what it looks like. It looks just like this. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking that so it's 12 by 12 and I just went ahead and let it stay like this. So that's that's what it looks like. Of course we could make it larger or smaller, but We'll, we'll use this for now. I've already imported it. It's down here. It's called smoke.png. So what I want to do is go to the game scene and I want to create a new CPU particle 2D. And I'm going to call that over here. I'm going to call it foot dust. So we're going to create it right here in the editor. So there's a few things that we're going to want to do over here. Uh, eight is fine. Emitting, we'll leave it on. And the time, I think we'll probably do something like half a second. Uh, we will turn on one shot eventually, I think, uh, to do what we want to do. We're not going to do local coordinates because we're going to attach this foot dust to the player. So we want our particle system to be global and we don't want it to follow the player. The shape is a point. That's fine. Uh, the spread is going to be something around like 60 degrees. And flatness, if I understand it correctly, we want to set it all the way to one so that we're flat as far as our distribution. At least I believe that's what it is. There's no documentation for that, at least none that I see here. OK, so on next uh, gravity, we're turning gravity off because we're, of course, smoke, of course. Uh, I mean, we could turn it to like a negative 15 or something like that just to indicate that smoke goes up. I want to say our initial velocity is something around the way of like 25-ish. And our, tr uh, let's see, where is it? We want to rotate this little fellow because we, angle? Is it the angle? Where did that go? We'll find it here in a minute. Random velo angular velocity. I do want some angular velocity, maybe something like a 10. And random velocity, maybe something like a, f a 1. So we can, so it can spin around and such. Let's, um, let's find the, yeah, right here, the, the texture. So let's draw, drag in our texture so we can actually start get, getting some sense of what this thing is supposed to look like. Um, so you can see we're animating and it is coming out the wrong way. And that is remedied here somewhere. I forget where it is. I thought it was right here. We'll find it here. Oh, yeah, that's so we want to go minus 90 so that we basically send the smoke upwards. As you might guess, uh, we don't need an animation. So I'm just going through all these properties here. The color, yes, we want a color ramp, a new gradient. We'll click on that to edit it, and we'll come over here to the black, double click that, start that as a white, and then we'll come over here and double click on the white at the end, and we'll set that to zero so that our particles fade out. That makes them look better already. And the Scale, I believe we want a scale curve. So let's create a new curve here and edit that. And let's load a preset. Let's say like maybe ease out so that they kind of, it kind of, I'm sorry, we want to reverse that, don't we? We want something like the following. We want like this. But, 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 but we want this to come up like that. There we go. So we kind of kind of uh, yeah, that's good. Now um, the angle <coughs> I don't think we need any angle. We want some some radial acceleration just so that we can kind of get things spinning a little bit I believe. Of course, it, it's not looking that great yet, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. And something else I want to do after looking at this, I want to take this. I want to erase. These are actually semi-transparent. And let's go uh, grab something that's actually not transparent to stick in there. I think that's going to look a lot better. So that should 
change. That looks a little bit better. Um, let's see. Uh, angular velocity, initial velocity, we've got gravity. And the gravity may be what's making it weird. Let's turn off that gravity for now. Random velocity, we're going to go 1. Emission shape is still point. Um, the spread is 60. And I could be wrong about the flatness. No, that's about right. That's fine. Let's turn the lifetime up a little bit and see if we can't get some. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. Speed scale, explosiveness. I think that was the one thing that I was, yeah. See, that's what we want. We really want something that looks like that. And the flatness, back to one. So that's kind of that's kind of what we're looking for. And maybe like a lifetime of just a little, little tiny puff of dust at the feet of the character. We can we can fiddle with this stuff later on. But anyway, there you go. So I'm going to save this, and what we're going to do is come up here, and we will save this as a scene itself, and we'll just save it as foot dust, and then I'm going to delete this one. And what we'll do is we'll go into the player, and we'll create two additional nodes on the player. We're going to add a timer. That'll be the, I'll call it the dust timer. And we will create, oh, actually, sorry, we will add um, the foot dust onto the end there. So we'll have this. And additionally, let's go back to the foot dust scene. I forgot about this. And we will turn off emitting. And we will also turn on one shot so that it does it once and then it stops. Okay, so we'll go over here to the player. Actually, we'll go back. We've got the player. Let's save it. So then we come into, whoops, I didn't mean to run that. We will wait a moment. Okay. Come into the players script. And when we get done landing here, we're going to say if our dust timer uh, is stopped. So only if our dust timer is finished, then we are going to emit a particle and it's going to be that foot dust. So we're going to say foot dust dot emitting is true. And we will say foot dust. We need to set the foot dust global position equal to our global position. Because remember our global position is at our feet, so this is going to work out quite nicely. And then we will we want we want that foot dust we want the dust timer. We want to start it and we want to give it a time of something like the foot dust dot lifetime plus some sort of little buffer like like a quarter of a second or something like that so then when the timer starts when we get back in here if the timer is not if it's still going then it's not it's going to just skip all this and then we're going to see something else that we need to also fix but uh We'll see if this actually works. So we're not yet seeing the foot dust, but that's okay because we'll figure it out. Now emitting, and we have it. We still have it. We do have it on one shot. And we're setting the global position. Oh, that's what we don't need to do. We don't need to do this. We don't want to set the global position equal. It's actually parented to our player. So let's comment that out. I forgot about that. That's right. So it should theoretically. Let's actually do this. Um, let's see what happens if we just turn it on like that. There we go. So there it is. All right, so that is working. So let's turn all of this stuff on. We don't, I don't think we need that since we're, since that is in our own little object. Let's print, let's print a little bit of a debug here. We'll check it out.
but we're only getting one. Im oh, oh, I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. It should be started already. Foot dust lifetime plus 0.25. Dust timer. Foot dust emitting. I'm going to comment that out again. So I'm not real sure why it's. It doesn't look like it's fading out either because we did tell it to fade. Let's go back to the foot dust. Where did it go? Come back, foot dust. Oh, it's right here in front of my face. All right. Foot dust. Let's turn on emitting. One shot. Turn off one shot. Turn on emitting so we can see what's going on. Yeah, it's not fading. I think, we're, I think our color... Yeah, something happened here. Our, our gradient went away. There we go. Except we need to create that gradient again. I don't know what happened. I don't know why it just decided to... Maybe a bug. I have no idea. Let's go ahead and recreate. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, and then we'll go all the way to zero, and that's a nice fading effect. It looks much better that way. Without that, it looks kind of crazy. So there's our foot dust. All right, let's save that. And things should look better. Oh, wait, wait. We have to also turn on one shot and turn off emitting again so that we can control it. Yeah, we want to control it. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. Okay. Let's go back to the player script and let's go back to what we were doing here before. Let's see what we get, if anything. And it's almost as if that timer is not, the dust timer is not processing. Is it? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, that's right. I know what's wrong. You, okay, so let's go back to the player scene here. The dust timer needs to be set at a one shot. So we only want it to one shot. It, otherwise, it'll reset every time it gets to the end. So that's why we're not getting that dust, those dust. See, the dust clouds every time. Boosh. So it, it will wait. And that looks pretty cool. In addition, having like a sound or something would be great. So what we can do here then, we've got all this working, which is fantastic. We could have, um, if the dust timer stopped and maybe like say, um, and the velocity is blah, blah, blah. You know, we could do some stuff like that. Um, but I want you to see something here. Let me put this fault emit back in. Check this out real quick. Now, we haven't fallen, but we get this. So in other words, what's going on is when we get up here, we're checking if this if we're on the floor. Well, the way that the kinematic body works, um, we can get rid of that. The way the kinematic body works, the kinematic body 2D, uh, or physics, phys uh, kinematic body 2D works is it needs this. The move and slide needs to be called uh, in order for that is on floor to actually do anything. So let's do something sort of crazy. And I'm gonna, actually going to put that ready back in. Now let's check this out here. Now let's move and slide and let's do like vector two. So immediately whenever we instantiate the player, we're going to do something like vector two, ten, zero. So we're just going to Basically, he should be on the floor. We're just going to shortcut that. And so now we should not see an emit anymore because basically we have taken care of the is on floor since when we get in here, it hasn't been called yet. So that's just a little, this is just allows the first call to is on floor to work correctly. Right, so there we are. So what we have here is um, let's let's actually lessen that. So the dust timer will start with a foot dust foot dust dot lifetime plus like one or I mean point two seconds is fine, whatever. Just so that it doesn't emit every time that we hit. We could additionally randomize this such that it doesn't always happen. We could we could make it so that if he lands, 
and his velocity is greater than a certain amount, then we, that we, that we do the foot dust. But regardless, we have this in here now, and it should be pretty easy to uh, change and add, do whatever we want to do. But anyway, I think that sort of spices things up just a little bit, and it looks pretty cool as well. So, um, yeah, foot dust. That's why I just yet another another great addition to our little tiny game that we now have and hand can do, which is which is pretty cool. So uh, until next time, we will see you.